Hi guys, how are you today? Um, today I'm going to share with you two beautiful books about flowers that I absolutely love. And if you love flowers as much as I do, then you will love these two books. They're beautiful, they're full of really helpful and interesting information, and they tell a beautiful story of a florist and a flower farm in Washington State. And I mean, honestly, everything about these books is just phenomenal. The, the photography, the story, the um, information, and it, it is just, they're just the best, best, best books. If you're a flower lover, just like I am. Uh, and also, these books and the flower farm and uh, the creator of it all, whose name is Erin Benzacain. Um, she has a, an Instagram account, which is also really great. I will link it down below. And also, there is um, a season two of the show called Growing Florets on Magnolia Network, which I've watched season one when it first came out and I loved it. And I was hoping there was gonna be season two and there is, obviously. And so that's a really great show to watch alongside um, the Instagram and the books and just kind of absorbing the content because it's just so inspiring. Um, so I will try to link the show down below as well. I subscribe to it through Discovery Plus, which I love. I love Discovery Plus and Magnolia Network and the show in particular. And I cannot say enough good things about um, Florette Farms and um, Aaron's work and just... Uh, the books. Okay, let me just start with the books, I guess, since I've been talking about um, sharing them with you. So I don't want to obviously go through every page because I want to have you be able to experience the books yourself. But I do want to just kind of quickly talk about the two books I have. Um, she has, I believe, one other book specifically about dahlias, which I don't have. Um, I have the two books that are kind of more encompassing of different types of flowers, but they're a little bit different and I want to kind of um, tell you the difference between them that you know as far as I can see and also just give you an idea a little snippet of each book just so that you can really see for yourself how beautiful they are and I'm not working with um, Flora Farms I'm just someone who really really appreciates these books and the content and just the passion that Erin has for the flowers and uh, just the art of it from growing to sharing the information to arranging the flowers She just has an amazing passion and talent that you can really tell through uh, Everything that she does and it almost like you know how people have a passion for something you really catch it yourself Even if you just kind of like mildly were interested in something I feel like that is her and so even if you don't love flowers if you just mildly are interested in flowers or just kind of think they're pretty, I feel like you're still gonna love these books and are going to get only more interested in the subject of growing flowers and um, kind of knowing more about flowers and arranging flowers. So, so this is the first book, it's called Cut Flower Garden and this is the cover. Uh, and then this is, I guess I'll show you the second one. This is uh, the second book and it's called A Year in Flowers and the basic difference between these two books just to kind of give you the general overview is that this one in my opinion focuses more on kind of growing the flowers with a little bit of how to arrange them and then this one here focuses more about how to arrange the flowers uh, and also how to make them last longer and uh, so that's I would say how these two are a little bit different but honestly, they're both absolutely gorgeous flowers, gorgeous photography. And when you're looking into like flower books as I was um, recently, just because I thought maybe there's other flower books that I can experience and enjoy. And I'm sure there are. In fact, there definitely are. But um, a lot of them tend to be kind of just repetitive and not very... There's not a storyline. There's not some someone to kind of help to guide you through it so much obviously not all of them but a lot of them I, I find are like that and that they're still beautiful but these books in particular you just kind of feel like you're on this beautiful farm because you're sort of are you're transported there in a way and 
uh, you are guided by Aaron through different types of flowers, different ways to grow them. What kind of tools do you need? Um, and it's just fascinating. Like I'm not looking to start a flower farm, although if I had a couple of different lifetimes, I think I would be a flower farmer in one of them. But uh, again, even if you're not looking to grow flowers necessarily on the large scale or even a small scale, it's just so fascinating and beautiful. There's just something so romantic about like flower farm which is probably why I love it um, but so let me just show you a couple of uh, flip through a couple of pages um, of the cut flower garden right now just so that you can see how beautiful you know different pages are and it, it is I mean I cannot again say enough good things about it I just it's such a beautiful book that I feel like everyone should have in their home uh, and so the way this book is arranged is you have um, seasonal sections so that you can learn how to incorporate flowers I guess into your year and the different flowers and the changes throughout the year which is really really nice because again it's that kind of a story that Erin takes you on and you can just tell the care and the love for flowers and the craft that she has and it really shows through and it's just a beautiful 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 book and in fact as I'm looking on the back here I'm reminded to tell you that it's a winner of the American Horticultural Society 2018 book award and it's well deserved it's an amazing amazing book and the second book I wanted to share with you is um, the one that's more about how to arrange the flowers and how to make them last longer again so much information so beautiful you don't have to want to be a professional florist or flower arranger i know that's probably not the, the term but you know what i mean um, you just have to i guess want to be taken on a beautiful journey flowers are so beautiful to look at and i feel like also they're kind of calming to you as well um, but I will show you some uh, flip throughs of this book as well again just to give you a little idea of what this book is all about and a couple of beautiful pages but I just cannot say enough wonderful things about this book as well and this one is also arranged by uh, by seasons and you can kind of I guess you can kind of also incorporate just like with the other book flowers into your Kind of year and into your lifestyle as the seasons change as the garden changes and it's just absolutely gorgeous i mean i just it honestly makes me a little bit want to be a flower farmer just looking at these books and i'm i'm only flipping through a couple of pages <laughs> absolutely beautiful just a fantastic book and really also helpful information about how to make flowers last longer which i thought was really interesting and also towards the back of the book there's a section um, with different flowers and it says how long different flowers roughly last which i thought was really really interesting um, and it's a really good information to know because even if you're just like looking to buy flowers on like the weekly basis for your home uh, just to add a little bit of um, just something nice for yourself or maybe some greenery into your space it's kind of nice to know how long flowers last because then maybe you can get ones that last a little bit longer that's some, something that I'm thinking about um, but yeah so just a beautiful book I wanted to show you a couple of pages um, of this book just as a little preview but um, I absolutely, absolutely love this. I also wanted to say that I love the tools of the trade type sections in both of the books because I found a lot of really helpful information here. And in fact, I actually ended up getting um, a flower or a garden snip that she recommended and I love them. Uh, they're not the ones that you see a lot of people recommend necessarily but she actually says that these are easier to use um i believe that's what she said i don't want to like misquote her but she said they were basically easier to use for kind of smaller snips and um and she was right so i love them <laughs> so my little experience of um of kind of her recommendation was spot on and also i just wanted to say she always looks really great in kind of like this natural way where she's it's all, obviously all about the flowers and she's not really kind of um like trying to maybe dress up but she always looks very stylish in like a floristy kind of way and very i don't know very she's got a 
really kind of great style in a way and always looks great in photos i if i was working out in the field let me tell you i would not make any photo better <laughs> like she does so i don't know how she does it but somehow she always looks like kind of low-key fabulous i guess as i would call it like i feel like if i was carrying flowers uh this is this wouldn't be how i would look but you know you can see she's like really kind of working she's not like wearing a dress like me like it's a real thing real kind of authentic look for someone that grows flowers but you know at the same time she looks great so um and oh and i also wanted to mention the instagram a beautiful page she shares again lots of kind of tips and just behind the scenes a little bit of the farm and again beautiful uh, content to follow instagram has a lot of um, content that kind of i feel like makes you feel um it's not always very inspiring or it maybe makes you feel a little bit weird looking at it because it's kind of like i don't know but this page specifically i mean it's just inspiring it's like a little uh it's like a little breath of fresh air on instagram i love it and then also of course there's the tv show which i cannot wait for season two i actually just recently looked up if the show was renewed for season two and i just recently learned that it was and then a couple of you know, a couple of weeks later i'm a little bit late on on doing my research but a couple of weeks later it's coming out with season two so that was great so super highly recommend the show on netflix it's so interesting it's a beautiful story of how she started um the flower farm and it wasn't all roses coming up roses what's the term i'm thinking of but you know what i mean it wasn't like all very easy in the beginning there was a lot of like hard work and it's just a beautiful story how she um, kind of decided that she wanted to do flowers there's a story about her grandmother and how she kind of she sort of was an instrumental part about that decision and then just the the hard work that goes into it the making of the book as well that was part of the first episode I mean um, season it's a, a beautifully filmed like inspiring type of um, visual to look at but there's also you really relate to um, the people they're very real as well I mean you can tell I love it um, but also these books have very 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 high reviews on Amazon um, so I'm not the only one and maybe you already have them I don't know I'm going on and on you might already have these but if you don't, these are great coffee table books. These are really just interesting to flip through. Um, if you're like watching kind of TV or something and you're just in the background and you want something to focus on, um, you want something to read for a little bit, just this is so calming and beautiful and interesting. I love them. So I just wanted to share two books that I love about flowers and flower farming and one day I will have a cut flower garden or a flower bed or something where I will grow beautiful flowers I'm hoping anyway. Um, so wonderful books, highly recommend. I will link them down below, I will link everything that I can down below and if you have the books or if you watched um, the first season, um, let me know down in the comments below. I'm curious how many of you have already seen it and if you haven't, it's it's amazing. Discovery Plus is a really, really great deal. I feel like um, you get not just Magnolia Network, you get other um, like ch channels within that subscription and it's the content is beautiful. If you like kind of like lifestyle, travel, food type shows, fantastic for that. So. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling on. I hope you guys have enjoyed a little preview of these books and um, I hope you love flowers because that was a chat about flowers for sure and Erin's um, Florette Farms. I am just fascinated by the, the farm and I cannot wait to see season two. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to end this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!